this is Matthew with Advantage Sign and Graphic Solutions with another quick tip. Today we're going to look at how to create files for white ink printing. Now if you have a printer that has a spot color channel for white or varnish or a specialty color, you can always create files for them using Illustrator or Photoshop. Today we're going to look at Illustrator. Now if you've seen my video on creating print and cut paths, a lot of this will remain pretty similar. The first thing we're going to do is in our layers artboard, we're going to duplicate our layer by clicking and dragging it and I'll even go one step further to change the name. I want to hide my printed information and that way I can select all of the information that I want to make white. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new swatch for it and I'm going to make sure that that new spot is called spot 1, that it's a spot color and I give it a color that I can recognize. Now I've got that information as well as my print information all in one file. The one last step we want to do, and you may not have this toolbar window open, but if you go to your window, select attributes. Anything that you're going to have print over top of something else, you want to select as over print fill. That will allow the images below the white layer or above the white layer to show up as well. Now once we're done here, we're going to save this as a PDF. We can save this and open it up in our software. Now that we're in Onyx, we want to make sure that we have a five color printer selected or a printer that has a white ink channel like this Epson SureColor S50. We also want to make sure that we have a white ink profile for our media. And then we're just going to go and open up our file. We'll grab the file we just created. Once it comes in, you'll notice that everything looks like it's bright green. Now if you're curious to see if there's something behind that spot color layer, you can go into your color correction, go to your white channel, or it may be called spot 1, and bring it all the way down. That will show you the image that is overprinted on top of. Now obviously you wouldn't have to create something that had white underneath everything. You could artistically put white in certain areas, or only do it on a portion of it, or have it larger or smaller than your printed image. Make sure that you put your white level back to zero on your spot channel so that it prints, and then process. Once your job is ready to print, simply output from there, and you should have an image that has either white ink on top or on bottom, depending on how you've configured. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.